I don't think I tuned this. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Let's check out this room, which definitely isn't a trap. Yeah. Okay, so sister man. location came out. Oh, yeah. yeah, I already watched Marky Poo's playthrough. So you, so you have seen what? Oh, <laughs> we didn't make it. <laughs> So I've already seen what now? So you've seen, uh, the secret room? Yes, yes I have. Ah. Which everybody on YouTube has because it's been the... Talk let's, of the town. Let's play go-to, basically. Yep. And it has gotten clickbaity as fuck. You yeah. know, theory, secrets, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, can't say I'm surprised. Yeah. So there's a. So I like how this. Walrus! It's a black walrus! A walrus! It didn't work. It didn't work. There we go. Walrus yeah. didn't work. My <laughs> coin passes there's now. Me. They never come in ones. They come in a pack. A two pack, if you will. Yes. Ow! Like these Kit Kats, if there was only two of them. Except the Halloween edition, which actually proves my point. <laughs> Speaking of bullshit fall stuff, I found pumpkin spice bagels. What? Yes. Okay, stop it. Whoever does that, quit it. You've gone too far. Yeah, pumpkin spice bagels. Because just I don't understand why they think why it's popular. I just don't understand. I, I don't understand I think it's because why it's the why the so much bullshit. I do like pumpkin flavored stuff. I think it's because it's seasonal. It's because you can't have it all the time. If you can have it all the time, then it won't be nearly as That's good. Okay, I get where you're coming from, but I can also retort with, I can swing down to freaking Family Thrift Center anytime I want and get a cherry pie. Just saying. Also, you can just make a pumpkin pie. Cherry isn't, like, uh, seasonal, though. <laughs> yes, it is. But still, that aside. Also, you can go down to a lot of places and just get pumpkin pie whenever you want. Oh, pumpkin pie! I know, this is the season of good pumpkin pie, though. Yeah. Where people actually give a fuck. Look at it carefully, Ben. Well, I meant the tether. Oh, I see. Ow! Oh, God! Blue light! Uh, Ben's weakness. <laughs> Project Zero's weakness, lifting his arm over his head. Let's go in King Weakness McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after the second food poisoning, <laughs> go back. But yeah, after um, much truck. Gonna look cool. Yeah, there we go. All right, now boot that planet. After much sitting around in like a wait, look at the look at the ball. Hmm. That would you know? Okay, the tethers are gone. Yeah, I wonder what the other half of the job was. I don't remember. You have to put the distress beacon on the rock. <gasps> we get to... Oh crap. Okay, now, 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 now. Well then. Oh, I know what I need to do. <laughs> Why did you say? Good job. This reminds me of the time when my dad told me to take a left turn in the middle of a road. What? Yeah! 
Ah, crap. Skippies. Blood, need that. Need that. I'm gonna tap A for the next two seconds or minutes or whatever. But yeah, one thing that you can do is that you can actually do the gravity tethers last. If you find the side that it's not swinging, the arm isn't swinging on, you can walk outside onto the other side of the asteroid. I see. But you're gonna have to do some fighting first. Yep, let's get that out of the way. Fight the black walruses. Oh, remind me it remind me when we're not talking on there. Tell you about the bullshitness of float the black people. Oh, yeah. Xenoverse. Yeah. Or super. Yep. Oh, have you seen the god thing? Didn't he have pink hair? No. No. No, 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 not black who god though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. Uh, after the tournament dark between Beerus and Fat Beerus. Uh-huh. Uh, Fat Beerus, alternate dimension beer. Yeah, yeah. The universe next to ours. I love all the bullshit chronologically. Now, because every universe has, like, a god of destruction, and every universe has a grand god. Except for ours, which had, like, 14. Uh, you mean a supreme guys? Because the tiny little uh, purple dude was the Supreme Kai, and then the Grand Kai was that totally badass biker guy. Uh, what was the little dude? That was the Supreme Kai. Yes. Supreme Kai. Yeah, because uh, King Kai, or Grand. No, King Kai was the blue guy who trained Goku at the end of Snake Way. Yes. And there were four of those. Yes. So I just have to put. No, uh, but. I can put the tether on here, or the beacon on there now. Uh, you can, but I seriously recommend going outside to do it. Oh, I, I can go outside? Yeah, that's just another one of those zero-gravity fields. Okay. Or it's holding in the atmosphere. I got it. So I can just Wait run for it. it. Wait, 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 wait. See? Ah, uh, I see. So what you're going to want to do is jump up by, uh... Maybe the other side. So now I'm going to go out. Oh. <laughs> ha! Me! Me! Ow, ow, ow. Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Thinking about, like, just cruising in space and all of a sudden hitting that thing. And... No. I was trying to grab the line racks, but, you know, that's a good thing. Okay, watch out. Oh, you big barn deal, the big bad barn deal barn. Crap. I don't think I tuned this. <laughs> Dial it the fuck back, bro. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. <laughs> okay, shit. The little purple guy. Yeah? Supreme Kai. Supreme Kai. Every universe has a god destruction, and every universe has the Supreme Kai. Okay. If a Supreme Kai- except the, except the Dragon Ball Z one, which has like 14. Because there's the Supreme Kai, the other, four, the other three Kais that were eaten by Boo, Mm -hmm. And then the Kai of time and space is also a supreme Kai. Oh, so that that little chick from the Xenoverse game? Yes. She's canon now? Kind of. Sweet. Look, she's kind of canon because that's where non-blue hair future trunks is. Ah, I see. It's weird what's canon. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure because, you know, tiny purple waifu is kind of a thing on the internet. So, yeah. And I actually think she's quite funny myself. And she is from this universe. Huh. 
that this universe needed the most mana not micromanagement. But but uh if Beerus or Shin, the stream guy, ever dies, the other one will stop at this game. Really? Oh, and the old guy's back. Oh no, he's dead. Well, that was sudden. Okay, um, so if the Supreme Kai dies... Well, wait, isn't he fused with... Not anymore. They unfused? They unfused. How the fuck did they manage that? Dragon Balls? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something that happened. But... There's this tiny little round Engine guy... Vacuum. ...that scares Beerus. Really? Yeah, he's just like, and he's like half of our heights, and he's tiny and cute, and he has a little cute, cute voice, <laughs> and it's just funny because Beerus is sh like he acted like Vegeta acted when Beerus came. Oh, that's a scary thought. Yes, and Ten Buck says it's his dad. What? Uh, I was just being funny, but uh, ten bucks that it that that thing is Beerus's dad, technically, because he created them. Oh, great! And all the universes. So where's my ten bucks? <laughs> There's no ten bucks. I didn't say anything because you were right. <laughs> Damn it, Chris! Stop being right. But uh, <coughs> but uh. It's just funny because Goku kinda made friends with it. Right on. Goku, stop being friends with everything! Oh, and we also met the Whis of that guy. Oh, really? Yeah. And Goku really wants to fight that guy because that guy, we said he had no chance of fighting that guy. Oh, God. And we, when we ranked him, he was like the third most powerful being in existence. Ha huh, ha. Huh. And the god is the first most powerful being in existence. But there's a huge step between those two. So I kind of want to know what the second one, and I believe that was going to be a villain sometime. Oh yeah, of course. Yep. But yeah, he's just tiny and cute, and then he will say stuff like, I will destroy you. <laughs> Funny. Oh, you know, we suppose we'd better check and see how- Oh, Wait a minute. What? I think there are two more gravity tethers outside. Yeah, hit the button. Yep. Shot of a brick. Oh, uh, crap. Hit. Left. Okay. Too close. Okay. Okay, go for it. Go, 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 go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Jump! Alright, new shit's happening! Now stop talking about DBZ. <gasps> DB Super. It's weird. Not about like talking about it like we like it. <laughs> I mean, I don't love it. Don't hate it. I'm just kind of ambiguous towards it. My problem's the animation. That's what? it. Dragon Ball Z Super. The production value. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's fine, but when it really goes to shit, you really notice. I had to get back inside the <laughs> Floating, get floating there. baby in outer okay. space. No more cares, I'm just a pile of waste. Look at, uh, yeah. Speaking of babies, Alec Baldwin's playing a super smart baby in a DreamWorks film. It looks dumb as hell. <laughs> Alright! Progress! Whew. Okay, now you can go to the computer? Yep. <laughs> Come back here, you slippery little bagger! Aha! There Four were, more Ripper Blades! There was just a server foot in it. <laughs> oh my. Yay, particle effects. Okay. 
All right, that's not a computer. That's just a display. Hit the adventure line. Who wants you to go back outside? <laughs> no! <laughs> no adventure line! There's no air out there! Did you, did you just go through the bodies this time instead of checking them? Yeah. I did it for the last one, too. <laughs> no, you checked one. No, I did that the first time I left. Oh, you can uh, refill while yeah. you're here. Hey, there's your crawling guy. From the big audio log. He had hands, though. Yeah, that's Well, awesome. yeah, that's because the necromorphs repurposed them. He has a leg. He shot them off. No, he damaged his legs. It didn't confirm or deny that he managed to completely sever them. Well, he said, if I don't have limbs. Yeah, okay. That is fair, but on the flip side, that's disabling your limbs versus removing them still... He wasn't... He was going to remove them. That was the purpose of the audio log. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, it would suck if we I had no idea ripper. how he did it. Oh, that would be rude. Speaking of Taco Bell... <laughs> Whoa, yeah. hold on a second. I just... Wait a minute. Second. Don't forget to take that battery. C-I. C is the third letter off the alphabet. And I is the eight. When you put three and, uh, three and eight together, you get 11. Okay, Nostalgia Critic, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven was the number of apostles, if you might as well. <laughs> oh man, he was just going through all the movie tropes too. I think he even talked about how Jehovah was the name of uh, Jehovah started with an I in the original Jewish alphabet. Oh yeah. Oh, um, and all of this was to find out that in a mirror backwards, he told the critic, uh, told the nostalgic critic, to fuck off. But uh. Speaking of that, uh, Tom Hanks is in another Da Vinci Code-like movie. Oh, God. What now? Uh, Dante's Inferno. What? Fucking seriously? It's not actual Dante's Inferno. It's the the weird the weird uh, plot thing revolves around it. Okay. Like the poem, the, pa the famous painting, all that. Oh, I see. Is it an actual sequel to the Da Vinci Code, or...? I have no idea since I didn't see the Da Vinci Code, but it involves Tom Hanks. He's Wait, a professor. What? Who's serving dinner? Me! It's Flapjack Night! It's... It's Taco Tuesday! <laughs> <laughs> and that's the offense to the bathroom system. <laughs> Suddenly, that's some prayer hole on Isaac's head. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucked up. It's like some sort of creepy carnival version of the Mexican ad dance. And a, and a taco shell pops out. No meat. <laughs> And then just a shitload of relic. Holy shit, look at our nodes! We have two nodes to burn! You can get, actually get an upgrade on that one of them I think you're doing. You can get energy or duration. Energy means I can use it more, right? Yes, more often. Okay, good job. Two more to go. <laughs> No, not- I love how he just kind of gave you a hug there. Like, not the bad hug you have been getting. Die! <laughs> Alright, so, now that that happened, let's continue on. <laughs> Shitload of melee. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the taco stand. Nope. 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 <laughs> and now all this Mexican food talk has reminded me of a, uh... 
Would you like some the, tacos? No, the uh, the little tortilla Damn. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to shake them off sent me back downstairs. I don't know who this guy who this guy thinks he is, but I want him and his tacos <laughs> dead. <laughs> He eats some tortillas on the corner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Get down! <laughs> Little tortilla boy. Get down again! <laughs> <laughs> you have heard that skit, right? No. Oh, A couple man. of friends. I've heard... Don't sweat it, we'll fix it. Yes. I've heard the actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> and much more, but not that one. Little uh, tortilla boy will blow it out of the water. Yeah. Well, at least it did for me. <laughs> Keep going. This is the room you need. That body moved. Who else is in here? Okay. Death shutter. Every time. Oh, um. <laughs> All right. Let's look at the camera. <laughs> You've logged launch. On. You've logged on to Windows ninety eight. Beacon's on its way. All functions normal and broadcasting wideband. Now we just have to hope somebody's listening. But is it in 4K? I'll position the array receiver. I thought I saw my brother again. He waved to me like nothing was wrong. Okay. I should be able to leave this channel open. <laughs> okay. What? The comms array receiver isn't responding. Fuck. Isaac, can you get back to the bridge? We need that array online, or we can't receive signals from anyone responding to the beacon. Does this look like the face of Carrie? Do you? <laughs> no. My girlfriend's alive, I got what I want, and you're a heinous bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> I like how she just nonchalantly, I saw my brother. He waved to me. So we should really get the comms array back on. <laughs> it's like, I mer- Okay, Isaac, you got the you got the comms array out. That's good. I heard the three people with the pencil once. Okay, so let's get that comms back on. <laughs> oh, he got stuck in the chair. <laughs> Just a long way. <laughs> oh, hey! Nom 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 nom. <laughs> That guy looked like he was slow mo jumping from an explosion. Oh, I saw a video. I can't remember what it was, but just the some guys walking away from an explosion, and some guy like tapping the shoulder, like, "Guys, look at look back here. There's a cool ass explosion." Give <laughs> me <didn't even> look at <laughs> it. Oh, that's what the cool. hell, man? You only see explosions once. Mmm. Gary. Mm. Delicious green stuff. <laughs> green stuff! We don't know what it is either. And compound B! And compound B! Oh yeah. Compound B! It'll make your eyeballs furry. <laughs> what? Coming soon, <laughs> coming soon to a store shelf new year, canned sandwiches. Canwich! They're terrible. <laughs> They're... <laughs> They're it's slogan. like trying to eat a brick of clay. <laughs> it's like 8,000 calories. <laughs> now we're bacon flavored. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Mm. Uh. Saving? Can't save enough. Save, save, save. Also, if I accidentally get stuck inside fire, it'd probably be better if we didn't have to go redo all that. Fair point. I would prefer if you didn't get stuck in the fire, though. Dad, I can't wait until Steel Ball Run comes out from JoJo's, just to see how much American bullshit jokes that there are. Oh? Because the whole thing runs in America. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so they're going to stereotype the fuck out of Americans. Yes, that. during the... During the right after the cowboy, that right after the cowboy era, oh, like, like the railroad is here. Oh, the industrial era. Yes, but there's still the cowboy everywhere mm -hmm. along the plains and stuff. Like we haven't quarantined off. Of oh my god!
He, he's not dead. <laughs> he's just kind of looking at you. What the fuck, man? Are you just gonna leave me alive without my legs? <laughs> what like, the heck, man? That, that was just the sheer look of hate. Holy shit, I don't have enough food for ammo anymore. Hey, asshole. Huh? Kill me. <gasps> what? No, that's what was making the noise. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Where'd it go? You got him. One of those was just a head. There it is. There's the head. Stasis, that bad boy. Not Stasis. Yeah, it's dead. Just keep going. Kinetic. He it's meant. He meant Look at it. Is it. Yeah. <laughs> now that's fucked up. Save. Okay. Sheer disgusting monsters from the pits of hell out of the way. We are on our way to the bridge. Think of that. I have to like, explain Dante's Inferno to a co worker. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh wait, we have money. Can't you just tell him to read the damn book? Well, I was talking about something. Oh, I was talking. We were talking about summoning Satan. Oh well. Hmm. Well then. Oh well. Don't forget to don't forget to mention the giant vagina monster. No, uh, we were talking about it as a joke, and I was sitting, and I I was like, I can't remember, but we were. I was talking about the giant ice lake in hell, mm -hmm. where the devil the devil stuck in in Dante's Inferno, and he was like, what? what? You know, like, uh, it's like the giant, the frozen part in, you know, where Satan is in Dante's Inferno. It's like, what the fuck's Dante's Inferno? Oh, my sweet <sighs> summer child. Then I explained it to him, and he was like, who the fuck's Dante? And I was like, oh my god! <laughs> Dante's you Inferno. You uncultured swine! Dante's Inferno is, uh, is our current thought of what hell looks like. Well, in a narrative, anyway. Yes. But still. All right. And in the bottom of hell is Satan, who is stuck in ice, chewing on uh, Judas. Judas, some guy from Roman, uh, Rome, and I think third mouth's free. I can't remember. Yeah, I just know one mouth was chewing on Judas. He's like three heads. Yep, traitors. Traitors was the last circle of hell, as oh. I recall. <laughs> you ha you gotta. You gotta know that this book, this thing was written during the really, uh, really, uh, religious age. Mm. Because it had, like, philosophers in hell. Yeah. Well, that, that actually came pretty close to the end of the episode. You wanna just call it here? Once we actually load into the next area, that'd be a great idea. Right on. Now we're in the eighth circle of hell. Search and rescue. <laughs> Wait, there's 12 levels of hell? Yeah. Well, at least there is in this game. There's nine circles of hell in Dante's Inferno. Things are looking up. A military ship just shocked in. The USM Valor. I don't know what it was doing out there. It must have gotten our distress signal. We can't talk to it until the comms array is fixed. I'm gonna hack the door to communications for you. Get in there and find the comms control station. Now they're the main stars of the horror game. <laughs> they wonder getting what a distress signal from a ship that can't talk back to them. <laughs> I wonder where we are. I think we're on the poop deck. <laughs> Until then, everybody. I we'll think we're in the, the galley. He's got a broken arm. Me. Hot Rod's got a broken arm. No, Hot Rod! <laughs> God, Clement. Jesus Christ. Now he has dysentery. Oh, he's <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were good at this. What?